I really feel like I'm a mafia boss in this one. I don't know. It's just kind of this weird vibe I'm getting off this character. Anyway, before we advance, I am now a billionaire. Billion with a B! Ha <laughs> ha! So, we have a few things to do. First, I wanted to show this. So, I'm going to give you a candy sausage. And you can have a curry shrimp. And that brings this up to eight. So when I do this, yes. I get a kiss, a cooking medal, and a lucky draw. As well as some fairy dust that I can't use for anything. But the cooking medal and the lucky draw, well. I go back to this. Feed, feed, feed. That's right, feed, feed my pets. What? I already established I'm kind of a mob boss. <laughs> Maybe I'm feeding my enemies to them. No, no. I employ my enemies. I for force them into a lifetime of servitude in my restaurants. Okay. So, I have a crap ton of cooking metals I've been building up. Specifically... I want to raise my ingredient count. I'll get into why in a minute, but I think that that is <clears throat> very important. I only need two more and I'll be able to increase my max concurrent researches. That's next. It's next on my to-do list. As much as I want to boost the speeds, and I do want to boost these speeds a lot. But yeah, research. It's important. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. Uh, since I have all of this cash on hand. Hmm. This isn't even going to... I've still got tons of cash. Uh, I could almost get away with... No, no. It's important never to run out of money because then you can't handle challengers. This will leave me with some cash on hand. Now... I have every single ingredient, well, except for the ones that I have to beat areas to get. But all the challengers stop dropping ingredients, so I believe that I have them all. Unless there's funny ways to unlock them that hasn't been said. I've got all kinds of interesting options now. It was a real surprise. Uh, malt surprised me. I wasn't expecting malt. I could be making all kinds of interesting beverages, but <clears throat> I'm really good at drinks. Really freaking good. And every single restaurant I have is running pumpkin spice coffee and vanilla coffee. My improved pumpkin spice? Total failure. Nobody will touch the stuff. Uh, it's a good thing that uh, I had more sense than uh, Coca-Cola when I introduced new Coke into my, uh, or sorry, new pumpkin spice coffee. I didn't remove the old product from the market. So. <sighs> but now that I have another ingredient, I can reach in and improve it. I've tried repeatedly. So. Here's the thing. Okay. Oh, I guess uh, it did. I is it a dessert? Ah, uh, here's my vanilla coffee. I put it into the desserts category, uh, just so it would be in a different category. So, this is the second best recipe I was able to create. It's coffee with sugar and chocolate and vanilla, and a little pumpkin, and this works pretty well. Now I can add one more ingredient to it. Um, boy, what should I add to it? Hmm. I have plenty of options. I'll have to think about it. But I know what I need to do to the pumpkin spice. Now, the pumpkin spice is a little bit... Do you want to know what the secret ingredient is? The one that I can't remove? 
It's onion. That's right. Onion. That's what defines my pumpkin spice coffee. Its combination, I mean, its combination is good, but onion, man. <laughs> that's, that's the key ingredient. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially copy the same formula over, and then I'm going to add, and it's a very thick coffee, by the way, considering how little water is put into it. But, uh, we are going to improve this by adding just one more ingredient. Part of it's, you know, I don't fully understand prep time. Water, 4.41. Coffee, 0 0.6. Really? Is that all the vanilla I put into it? 3.53. Onion, 0 0.35. Pumpkin. All right. Now. I am not going to edit this. It's perfection. I don't want to screw it up. I'm going to pretend I'm making a whole new good. Oh, wow. You keeping the name. Uh, we're going to call this Pumpkin Spice Coffee Plus Plus. Okay. It's not a beer. <laughs> I don't think I can even make foaming mugs of ale. I don't think I have the materials. I never found alcohol. At least not yet. I mean, I suppose I could ferment many of these things myself. Oh, by the way, here's the red grapes. So that one I image I was critiquing a long time ago, those were red grapes. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start. It was water, coffee, vanilla, Where's the onion? Where, where's, where's my onions? They're right in front of my face. I know where they are. Okay, here we are. Onion. And finally, pumpkin. Now, I can only add one thing. I want it to be... I want it to be this right here. Cinnamon. Milk. Oh, milk is so good with these. <laughs> Surprise. Malt! Uh, hops. You only get one. Man, milk goes with a lot of things, and it makes sense in coffee, you know? It was a slather of mayonnaise. Of course. Man, I have a lot of options right now. Goes with vanilla, coffee. Hmm, what about sugar? I don't have sugar in this yet. Coffee, pumpkin, yes, yes. Hmm, nutmeg. Hmm. Hmm. I'm torn. Which is better? Sugar? Cocoa? Nutmeg? Hmm. Nutmeg. Hmm. Yeah, this goes with... Well, hmm. I'm going to go with sugar this time. And we'll try to sweeten it a little. Because uh, normally the one I've been running has been super bitter. Okay. We'll get back to you and you. The onion. That's actually the exact correct amount. Pumpkin. Okay. Now. I wish I could get the 
chocolate in? Why'd I put water in? I don't even know. I'm certain that I could do better than water, but every time I've tried to doctor this recipe, I've ended up with it being worse. Okay. Alright. That is the amount of coffee I was running. That is the amount of onion I was running. Okay. The vanilla was at a point six. Okay. But the difference is we now have sugar. Now how much sugar do we add? Ooh. It decreases the taste. Sugar makes it worse. But it sweetens it. That's good, right? The fact that I've added sugar means I've added material. I, oh, oh, that means I can squeak a little more vanilla in. The sugar will have increased the combination and the sweetness. Okay. I could probably cut the sugar down more. My new drink. Let's compare. So obviously it doesn't have any of the uh, researches backing it yet. We have gone from a combination of 38 to a combination of 64 by adding just that little bit of sugar. That is colossal. Now this already has nine researches on it, of course. That's that's no small thing. The flavors are only ever so slightly altered, except for sweet, which jumps up. I believe this is a superior beverage. I believe that this is a superior... The preparation time went down. Why? Why is this faster to... Rep to I, I can't understand why this is faster to prepare. It's literally all the same numbers, except a tiny bit more vanilla and some sugar. It's the same recipe with some sugar thrown in. How is it faster? I, I just... I can't make heads or tails. But... I am positive this is a superior product. I just need to elim I, I just need to get some secrets on it. That's all. That's all. Okay. Now the vanilla coffee. I feel more confident editing this one. Though I really would like to be able to see a before and after. I feel a lot more confident editing this one. So it's prepare time, let's call it three seconds. Okay, here's 72 with a three second prepare time. Let's see what happens. What do we want to add? Actually, nutmeg looked pretty good. Pumpkin, sugar, cocoa, yeah, 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 nutmeg seems good. Okay. Okay, obviously you have to have some. There. So we took out a tiniest bit of vanilla for a tiniest bit of nutmeg. Prep time stays the same. We just boosted the combination a whole bunch at essentially no cost by adding a tiny smidge of nutmeg, microscopic. Finished. Oh. Oh. It's my first time editing a recipe. I didn't know. Well, that's annoying. 
Oh well. My vanilla coffee is now... Did it just lose all of its researches? You didn't say anything about that. Holy crap, I had like 80 researches on this thing. Oh, that ain't right. That's not fair. Why would you do that to me? Everyone's drinking this, and all of a sudden, it we, we add a pinch of nutmeg, and all of a sudden, the quality dives. Sorry, everyone. Don't worry, in the long run, you'll love it. Yeah. All right. We're done playing around with those for the moment. Um, I've got more ingredients than I know what to do with right now. So many possibilities. It's crazy. I should make the most unappetizing dish I can imagine. It'll be made out of bones and eyeballs. <laughs> Which is weirdly what combos with bones. Eyeballs and fish bones. I mean, you can make a soup. There's such a thing as soup bones, but... Flour. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I need to do my big advertise my next big advertising campaign, but first I know I've mentioned this before, but I really wish I could continue running around editing things while a cooking battle was going well I mean I can if I let it auto battle. <clears throat> the problem with the auto battle is that the auto battle is terrible and it always loses. Well, I mean, okay, it, it, it takes like a 50% hit to your, your chances of victory. Also, you have to wait for it to build the meter up and it takes forever. So if you actually want to win, you just have to go in and do this. But then you're stuck on this screen and you're like, I got it, I don't, I don't want to do other things. I mean, I suppose I could turn auto off, but you will also likely get a better result if you fight manually. I could try, I guess. Oops. Na 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 My very sophisticated taunt. Yeah, that was stupid of me. Hmm. When you set it to auto, it stops. Oh no! Uh <laughs> What was that about me getting a better result? <laughs> no. No, I would have been better off with it in auto. Oh, well. How close did I come? Well, let's see. She only has twice the score that I do. My honeyed fruit is the best. Even with that mess we just observed, I actually wasn't that far off. I might be able to... Maybe. Almost. My stats are a little better. My research is not as good. The quality of the ingredients, though, is always the catch, isn't it? <sighs> hmm. All right. Pumpkin spice coffee here. I'm going to want to test. I'm going to want to test the new one. Uh, I'm going to have to get the new one to 80. And then it won't have the secrets. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to that later. Okay, I think I've got it this time. I think I have you. Yes. Yes, by, by 2 million somehow. It's, the numbers that come at the end of this are just so crazy. Like, I didn't do anything that would result in such a wide gap. 
Like, it's really hard to judge how close you are to winning from one to the next. Maybe the judges just liked my uh, honeyed fruits uh, sweetness more. I don't know. But these numbers are wildly variable. Coconut milk. I already have the coconuts. I, I couldn't... Uh, what? I couldn't figure out how to get them open and... They were being... Coconuts were being served as a drink already. <laughs> what do you... What do you mean? Oh, well. She shows me that I can put it into a pumpkin soup, and I'm all like, oh. All right. Well, whatever. I have it set to auto hiring now, by the way. Real nice. Hmm. What rank do I have it at everywhere else? A seven? Yeah, I think it's a seven now. Okay. Good, good. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? It has to be. It just has to be. You're, you, you, there's nothing else you could do here. Hmm. Not making a lot of cash yet. Hmm. Well. We'll give them some advertisements. Will that make the difference? Uh, almost worth a mascot. I suppose I can give you a mascot. There. Yeah. There we go. Still working on van my vanilla coffee. Then I can get to my uh, next thing. All right. Adventure Town by Henry Vigil. He is quite good at everything, even at cooking. So best be prepared. Well, his stats are 50 million above me. His research is holy shit. His ingredient quality is, you know, pretty good. 20 points better than mine. But that research... Oh, man. We just had drinks. It's not going to be drinks. It's not going to be drinks. I could hope for desserts. If it's a dessert theme, then I have a chance... Yeah, we haven't had a dessert theme. Not since the Park District. If I'm really lucky, it'll be a dessert theme, and I can I can kick ass at that once uh, once my vanilla coffee finishes researching. <sighs> I've really played with the coffees. I mean, I've tried coffee so many times. And chocolate. I've played a lot with the chocolate, too. I know that there's a ton of other things to mess around with, but drinks and desserts are where where my strength seems to lie for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm weird. Uh, oh, 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 we've been forgetting. I got a lucky draw. Well, I'm not going to complain. Fine. All right. I have an absurd amount of money. What are we going to do with it? What if we bought 50 of all of these? What if we bought 150? Oh my gosh, I could do it. I could upgrade my restaurants. I could... Boy, I could do a lot of things. In four hours, I'm going to have this, at which point I'm likely going to want to seriously consider pupiling again and giving the pupil the potions. I'm currently about a 50% boost, but that research, that's really where I'm crippled. My stats are fine. I'm keeping up on stats, but my research is nowhere near up to spec. Hence, one of the reasons I want uh, concurrent research is so bad. Uh, 
Still, if I could clear another area, that would be a big deal. Hmm. Hmm. Should I hang on to the rest? Hmm. I'm going to hang on to the rest. If I wanted it to be an eight, it would only be 200 million. If I wanted it to be a nine, hmm, okay. Ho, ho, ho. You know where my guy's working right now. <laughs> He's a pretty good chef, turns out. Alright, so I'm not really holding on to all that much as it turns out, but now my stats are huge. Oh no, rice! Oh no! What? Well, I've got this. I have no confidence in this recipe. It's just something I threw together. Maybe the judges will like sour things. I don't know. Rice. <sighs> Rice. I'm no good at that one. Well, it costs almost nothing to try, so we'll give it a shot. Fruit, rice, Pudding? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Wish I could make mochi. My gosh, if I could make mochi! I mean, it's made out of rice, but I guess it would have to qualify as a dessert. There really should be a rule for, for things. Like, anything with a sweetness of at least 10 has to be a dessert by default or something. I don't know. Maybe not. His meal, at least when it comes to making score, his meal sucks. I might win this, which is... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, I'm running rice with chocolate sauce. We're both running desserts pretending that it's a rice meal. I mean, there, there's rice in them, but still. We're both running desserts, sort of. Okay. I mean... Rice with chocolate sauce is not a very good recipe, all, all things considered. It's not my best work. But I have more confidence in it. I'd forgotten about that one. I have more confidence in it than I did the uh, last one. The uh, seafood and rice. I mean, I suppose I could put another ingredient in it, but it cost a cooking metal to edit them. If I do the edits, I'd also want it to be at the start of a new pupil, because, you know, it takes away all the research you did on it. Okay, yeah, this should be a win. My stats are higher, my score is higher. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, strawberries. I've been wondering where those were hiding. All right. Boom. Rice with seafood. <laughs> and the rice with chocolate sauce doesn't even show up. It's weird. Sometimes the things that are good in cooking contests are not the things people actually want to eat. That's actually strangely realistic. You know, it's really hard to cook. And for those delicate palates of those judges, there's this. And then everyone just wants to eat rice with seafood. Because, you know, that's what people actually want. <laughs> okay, let me see. So, what did I have this at? An eight? Yeah, okay.
Okay, everything's at an eight now. So we'll do that. I really wish I could hire more staff, honestly. I really do. That I could just put more staff. Like, I just put more, another waiter in every restaurant, please. All right, so Adventure Town was a gimme, shockingly. Can I see that pudding for a second? What in the world is it? Well, it's got 115 researches and 25 secrets. But its taste is 11 and its combination is N. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, if you replace the, if this was rice cereal, I mean, this would be fine. There's, there's nothing wrong with this design. Wait, salt? I thought that was sugar. That should be sugar. I think. Huh. But yeah, this is a terrible recipe. I mean, this is just awful. I'm going to definitely scrap that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've always been scrapping these. I could turn this into a completely different recipe by editing it. And thereby keep all the secrets for the price of a cooking metal. People like the rice and seafood. And I could add one more ingredient as well. So I could just basically turn this into rice with seafood. And keep all the secrets. And then delete this one. Hey. I guess that's why it loses all of its research, huh? Oh, we didn't read this. The town has everything the adventurer needs. It seems like a mixed town from RPG, dungeon, danger, and has even some pyramids in here. Pyramids? Huh. Okay. This town can fly. Shows the sign. Shows the sign at the entry. You can see big balloons everywhere. Most of them show a sign out of order. Oh. Here I thought we'd be in a cool flying city, but no. Just a bunch of balloons that are defective. All right. Now, give me dessert. I can take on anyone in the field of desserts. Even if their stats are 2.5 million better than me. Hmm. Well, each time I clear an area, this bonus gets better. Not as much better as I might like, but still better. Hmm. How's that new one working out? Ooh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't advertise. Hold on. Fish! Why is the flying city fish? Why is the flying city into seafood? I could understand a boat town, but a flying city does fish. This isn't going to work. Look at that. Research recipe 144. Oh my gosh. And the quality keeps going up. I find that intimidating more and more. The quality is a 46 to my 25. All right, let's take a peek. What are we up against? All right, I've got my Octo flavor. It's my best bet. Grilled salmon. Really, salmon was the first thing that I had. Are their recipes getting really bad? How am I winning? I shouldn't be. I'm not going to. You've got better stats and, well, your recipes got way more, more higher quality, right? I think Octo flavor was spicy. Hmm. 
Well, anyway, hmm. I'm not gonna win this, but it. I'm gonna at least see how close I am, and I don't think it's gonna be as difficult. I don't think that grilled salmon is even well-made grilled salmon is going to compete with my Octo flavor for long. Hmm. Bonk. Bonk. Hmm. Yes. Don't, don't. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I'm already 10,000 ahead. Oops. That should have been a demotivate. And I can't cancel it. See, here I was trying to speed it up and be all clever, and I ended up costing more than I gained by making one misclick. Okay, no, we are way ahead. Now the judges are going to be like, yeah, but we prefer her. <sighs> what? How bad is this recipe? Ooh, cream for my coffees! I need to add another ingredient to all my coffees right now. Alpha Town, we'll get back to that. And Hans Zimmer. Did I even read what the person did? Oh well. Thunk? My Octo flavor is here? Hmm. I mean, I guess they're used to coming here for the salmon, so I guess they'll keep coming here for the salmon. I mean, you know, the customers know what they want. Huh. Huh. Okay. All right, we got to move our... Mascots, move them on down the line. Man, I, I cannot believe how far I've gotten. Like once I, I had this was a this was a difficult one to cross, but once I got over it, it's just like thump thump thump. Okay, so so it's got 120 research and 26 secrets with it and a taste of 8 it's got a combination going all of its stats are real low it doesn't really specialize in anything and 8 on the taste hmm salad salad is not an ingredient salad is a dish is that lettuce? Yes, that looks like lettuce. Okay. Three ounces, 3.5 ounces lettuce. Or possibly kelp or cabbage. Pretty sure it's supposed to be lettuce. But anyway, salad is a thing you make out of possibly lettuce. Or you could just do a potato salad or a cucumber and tomato salad or it, it, it it's not an ingredient but yeah cream oh my gosh I need oh, I need another ingredient I mean it's really something you should add optionally as a thing people can put in their coffee as opposed to something you force in it but whatever I need a concurrent research okay and with that, where is... Ah, here we go. I can get this started. Eventually, I'm going to get that up to 80-80, and then we're going to see how it compares. I mean, this one's got some secrets. Nine of them, but still. Okay. Fish! Fish to fish! What is this? Wait a minute. I mean, I could take, I could break out the grilled salmon with 120 on it, but uh, no, that's a losing dish. He has built 99 different rooms until now, and you might become the hundredth. 
What? And you might become the hundredth? Wait, are you suggesting that he takes people, cuts them up, and uses their bodies as the material to make his rooms? Because that's the only way I can interpret this sentence that makes any sense at all. I'm the evil chef, not you. Me. Look, it's on my business card. The evil chef who likes to steal restaurants from people. Oh, it's not really steal, per se. It's, I mean, unless the cooking battle is like a mugging. All right. It is said to be the first town ever created. All life started here. And nobody ever died here. Oh, shit. They're all still alive. They're rooms, but they're still alive. Creepy. So, uh, question. 26 out of 30. So this is 27. We still haven't seen Big Town. Little Town referenced it at the beginning. Alright. What are we up against? You really think the grilled salmon is my best bet over Octo Flavor? I remind you, Octo Flavor's got twice the combination and like five times the taste. More than five times. I mean, yeah, the quality is enormously improved on this, but even so. Also, this is sweet and bitter. Not spicy at all. Mm -hmm. Doesn't like sweet. Doesn't like sweet. Okay, maybe grilled salmon is the correct choice, but it's not going to win. Oh my gosh, he has lobster, which should be all-powerful. Lobster, I should not be able to come close. I'm going to lose this. I'm, I'm definitely... He's got higher stats, and the numbers are going to be much closer. But his lobster should just downright destroy me. I'm not even using my own recipe this time. I'm using somebody else's. Somebody who already lost. Well. Okay. Okay. Slowly closing the gap. At the very least, I'm gonna beat his score. I am determined. Wait, wait, why are you not... He, why did you stop preparing early? Crap, I'm going to lose now. The auto battle decided it to, it to be so. Crud. You should have kept preparing longer, man. Look at this. He's going to be cooking well after you give up and stop. And that's no good. Crap, I should have been demotivating. Whoops. Oh, well, I stole one of his levels of cooking before it could be cooked. Okay. All right. That demotivate isn't going to... Yep, not connect. That blow did not connect. I am almost tied. Almost tied in score, but you ho 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 ho! Yeah, grilled salmon ain't gonna cut it. Mm mm. Mm. He has one million more stats than I do. One million. With. Uh, 1.1 million to be exact. I don't see how I can beat this guy. Hmm. Bet the last one has no theme again. So we're still working on our vanilla coffee. Then we'll work up our octo flavor, which is my real hope. 
Okay. Hmm. I can just ignore those for the moment. Meanwhile, I really want my... No, it's on list two. I really want my pumpkin spice coffee plus plus to uh, turn out to be superior to this one. I'm sure it will. I hope. Otherwise, I'll feel awfully silly about having got grabbed that extra ingredient. Wait, what if... Oh, wait, no, I can't edit it because it'll lose all its research. I was going to say, I could... Edit my um, salmon recipe, but no, that won't do. That won't do. This might just be my stopping point right here. This might just be where I cut out. Hmm. This is not enough of a bonus yet, but I'll gather more cooking metals on the way up, on the way back, and I'll have a couple potions to guzzle, which will be nice. Alternately, I could try to just sit here and grind forward to get another, another, another step. I mean, I could just guzzle them right as soon as I get them without pupiling, but it feels wasteful. But the lucky draws might give me something. Might give me what I need. I don't know. Hmm. Still, we are raking money in. These last two by themselves are responsible for more than 30% of my cash flow. Hmm. I don't like actually closing my restaurants when I uh, set them to uh, train. I like to leave one cook running at all times, but... Uh, if I wanted to power through, I'd probably close them all right now for like 24 hours. Just training, and then turn them back on. And I'd run for a while with like a huge boost. And that would give time for the researchers to get through. I don't know. I could try for it. I could try to just go for the win right now on this run, but I think that's wrong. I think it would be faster to do just one more pupil. If I could just get these stats a little bit more, a little bit higher. Particularly this one. Top 10 research level. Top 10 research levels divided by 250. Hmm. I didn't look at that before. Ah. Top 10. Well, my top 10 are sporting 80-80. Are these being factored in? Maybe. Hmm. So, yeah. Most of mine are not sporting high enough numbers. Most of them are just sporting 50s. But, it's because it's so slow. So agonizingly slow. My vanilla coffee was an 80-80. You know that? It was. Oh, well, that's how we learn. We push buttons and do things and see what happens. Okay. 
Hmm. Area boost, 100 divided by 100 plus 1, times fairy boost. Each fairy with the pupil skill, of which I only have one. I don't regret the golden dragon. The golden dragon's awesome. Someday you'll evolve, but it will be too late. I'll have already gotten what I came for. Hmm. I wish. So you're right on the verge of being able to be fed. The light fairy wants to eat a curry dish. The golden dragon wants a drink. God. He just wants a cup of coffee. Oh, gosh, when you look at it so starkly like that, it's like, oh man. I mean, the exponential price of these. This is the only way to increase my stats. The training just slowly grows. So it's here, but this, I would need like another 300 to match his stats, to match his raw stat power. Oh man, that's a lot of money. It, I could get lucky and pull them out of lucky draws. It could happen. Or I could try to concoct a fish dish so epic that it crushes the competition. And then research a crap to make it good. The problem is I'm bad at that. I'm sort of okay sometimes at making dishes that will sell well, but the cooking contests don't follow quite the same rules. Maybe if I just made something super high on one stat, like spicy or sweet, and waited for a set of judges that were, that were favorable to such things. I should test one more thing. I should see how my octo flavor fares. Like spicy, salty, sour. I see. So I'm going to test this. It's going to obviously be another loss, but I'll at least see how it does. And I'll figure out where to go from there. Just look at how much better Octo flavor does. I mean, look at the difference. Holy crap. I'm within a hair's breadth when I run this one. Rather than the grilled salmon the game wants me to. I am so close even though his stats are so much higher. I just need to nudge myself up just a little more. I'll probably get unlucky with the judges after this for some reason. Oh well. No guts, no glory. We're gonna do this. We're going to win this. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. All right. I got you this time. Oh, for a second, I didn't have enough money. You're done, Hans. It's over.